Hi, I'm Tom Ashford and this is the Self-Publishing News, where each Wednesday we bring together self-publishing news of the week so you don't have to. This week, Amazon turns 25, a father writes 365 children's books in as many days, and Beach Reads are making way for literary fiction. Keep watching. So, Amazon is 25 years old, which seems far too short a time for such a colossal company, and yet a very long time for something that I remember not existing. Yet it's now one of the most valuable companies in the world, and its owner, Jeff Bezos, is one of the world's richest. They started out by selling physical books, and 25 years later they are the only the second company to ever be valued at a trillion dollars. It's a crazy achievement, and obviously a massive congratulations to everyone involved, and I'm sure uh, every indie author is incredibly grateful for the revolution in digital publishing that Amazon brought about. You can read more about Amazon's journey from a garage company to a global empire via the description below. Now our next story is about how a father is writing 365 books in as many days for his daughter. Now, books is probably a bit of an exaggeration. Some of them are very, very short stories, as children's books often are, but particularly short versions. And some of them are a little more than poems. But he's still creating 365 individual stories that his daughter can read when she grows up. Maybe he should collect them all into a single ebook that he publishes online, just as an idea. Uh, you can read more about Matt Zerbo's incredible story uh, via the link in the description below. And last but not least, it's your summer reading guide. Don't worry, SPF aren't actually recommending any books for your summer vacation, though of course if you want to read any of ours that would be fantastic. What I'm talking about is that the traditional industry has traditionally pushed uh, summer beach reading sort of material like easy books for people to read on their holidays. We're talking about simple thrillers or chick lit. Well it seems as if things are changing. People aren't interested in just picking up romance novels to read on the beach anymore. They're just as likely to grab a copy of something that's literary fiction for example. As always the link to the original article is in the link below. You take a read and find out what sort of literary books people are most commonly picking up each summer. And of course some of these book sales numbers are quite paltry compared to successful indie authors, so as usual it's just a case of write a good story and eventually with the right marketing readers will come. Okay, so that was the self-publishing news of the week. If you enjoyed the video make sure to subscribe by pressing the button below and as usual if I've missed out any news that you think's worthy of mention then please leave a comment below.